1,000 packs. Oh, yeah. A forbidden light. I don't. Are we, all right. You're let's, not going to. Let's do it. No, are you I'm actually going to let me have this. stacks? Let's do this like so civilized. What? Oh, what? I am gosh. not used to this at all. That's like Noah parting the <sighs> Red Sea and forbidden light packs. Oh, my gosh. Look at so that. Look, Beautiful you know play mat. I am happy. My OCD is thanking you. Right this now. is insane. I feel like we've never done things this good. Oh, and no. These packs are thick. My goodness. We don't even have to sort. We're good just, ninja. Oh, oh, I hate your ninja. Off. You hate Greninja. I don't like your ninja. This man. card is hype. I don't like Greninja either, but this I'm card just, is super hype. It's, I'm sorry to all the Greninja players. It's I just... think Greninja is a silly looking frog with a tongue scarf. Boop. And you know, I don't like that about him. Well, the reason I don't like him is because uh, when Greninja became a thing in the format, it destroyed almost all fun decks. Right. That was a big thing. I, I, this is so weird getting oh, rares. Rares is your trainers. It is your trainer. It's... I know. I actually, I think I was looking through the booster box that you opened, and you missed a beast ring, I think. Nice. I need yeah. to keep an eye <laughs> out for that. Actually. Hey, uh, I got a Yveltal GX. Starting things off strong here. You got your... Uh, Alter Recon Oh, I didn't even know that that was a full art in the set, I don't think. I haven't seen it that one yet. It does not look like it belongs in this game, though, does no, it? No, it doesn't. It looks like that might be from... You know, just a confused just card. Like, where's it from? Completely different anime. Uh, Digimon, or, you know, I don't know. Something like that. It's I don't know. Bringing it, uh, yeah, Who are the recons? Arceus. Who are the recons? Do, do you want all of the uh, just, beast just, rings just and treasures? Take those out. Yeah, the take, out the, take out the beast rings and treasures. Hey, reverse beast ring. All right. Yeah, take those out. Those seem like to be the major... You know, trainer hits out of this set, so we might as well take those out. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. These packs, right. though, unfortunately, are like the Steam Siege quality packs. I think we they're should... super thick. They are thick, aren't they? I noticed that. Oh my gosh, these are actually really rough to open. They are. Yeah. I think maybe they got a different company or something to do this. Or... I hope I they did. I don't Two know. Arceuses. There you go. Arceuses. Two Arceus. So. Oh, uh, the floor of a Pokemon name is his Pokemon name. I know better than I. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I don't know if I could do a thousand of these. My thumbs are gonna be <laughs> my thumbs are going to be bleeding they're, by the end of it. Another oh, Evolve! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Treasure that secret. is so crazy. So early on in the opening, you've got the chase card. This is what you want. That is the chase card. And it is not set. gradable because not it has gradable. a little bubble. Oh no! Right. Can you right there? Oh my gosh! It does. Other than that, though, it's pretty good. It's centered and all. It is. Look, okay, look at that. Beautiful. Other than that, that this thing. would have been gradable. Oh my god! Oh. I know, right? Oh well, that'll be in some well, lucky. Well, we got what we box. came for. Yes, See y'all later. Did. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> if we cut, if we just like, how many packs do you think we've opened? Like, not many. Not many. If we just like quit now, profit for sure. <laughs> I'm opening. Okay, so I'm opening straight down this stack. Uh huh. If this is from the same box, that's uh that would pretty be insane, insane so far. Insane box. For I, it means sure. I've hit no GX, but I have full art and two wild cards. I guess gridded. Oh no, regular like, GX. Take the beast rig out. Take the, yeah. Take the, the beast rig out. Yep. Yeah, the Zerdius. I think we should potentially, I don't know, you guys. We've got Riley and Natalie here as well. They are going to be helping us out with this opening since the Thousand Packers ah. tend to be quite the marathon ride that we are on. Uh, Mahone and I are just getting old. We used to be able to knock it out in an hour. Now I it know. takes us like two. I know. And Gosh. with these packs, it's going to take us like three. I know, right? So at least we, we've cut cut time by not sorting. We're just going to allow there Mikey to do that. Mikey is out goofing off in what, Brazil right now? Yeah. I mean, yeah, slacker. You ever notice that he's always <laughs> gone when it comes time to a thousand packs? Right. It seems mm, like fishy. So the, uh, right. Gotta go judge something, guys. Mm, Be back Yeah, later. all right. Yeah, judging. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> More like partying in Brazil. Yeah, but. that's that's uh, it's fine. Honestly, I mean, if he's gaming the system like that, I props guess. to him. Props to Mikey. All right, but Mikey can deal with the fact that he got to be in Brazil and we had to sit here in Cuyahoga Falls by sorting all our bulk. Hey, check that out. I didn't even know that was a card in here. <laughs> Did you guys know this? Energy recycler. Secret rare energy recycler. I have not seen that yet. That is nuts. Oh my goodness. Check that out. Beautiful card. I think this is the first time we're seeing it here on the channel. Don't mind my hands, guys. They are oh, looking a little heavy right now. That looks actually really good. That does look good. This the quality of the set's been pretty. Actually, blah. that is like. Let me see, like a normal GX. Yeah. We got no dings on it. We could grade yeah. that. See, the normal GX has roller marks on it. I think maybe right. the secret rares are getting much better treatment. That is looking pretty good right now. 
What do you guys think of Malamar? Oh, okay. Should we pull out Malamar's? I mean, I too late like now, right? It's too, it's too late. Mikey can pull them out. Right. I got my one hollow Malamar. Dude, I don't know. This is weird. This has, like, this is Evolution's quality. And the first couple boxes we opened were not, but look at that thing. I got a Volcanion. You can't see a single flaw. No, that's beautiful, actually. Tens all around. You get a ten. You get a ten. Oh, uh, if that's true, looks like we're sending them all. We should just send, send every single card up. To, like, you know, save ourselves the work of looking for good conditions. Oh just my send gosh, them all that up. is horrible, by the way. Looking like it is. I respect the people at PSA now because they just have to go to work every day and do that. It <laughs> seems like it's not a hard thing, but once you're sitting there with like. I mean, they use uh, the magnification and the special lights. Right. Dude, once you sit there and, like, I don't know, after the fifth card. Right. Like, no. Nah. I'm done. No, I'm done. Zygarde Plus. GX. Plus, it kills my oh, eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. I want to go cross-eyed after a Looking while. at cards for grading was probably the worst thing I spent an afternoon doing. And <laughs> I did. Because I had to look through my collection. Oh, the double hit! We got the B set of G and the Ultra Necrozma GX. Necrozma. That is a big chase card in Not this set as secret. well. I know the Ultra Necrozmas. What'd you say? The dude, we are killing it right we now. We are. The full art Ultra Necrozmas are fetching a pretty decent price, aren't they? You said the full art was like twenty right now. Pre there is so like many that. twenty dollar bills in this set. There are a lot of twenties in this set right now. So that is awesome. The Ultra Necrozma. Hyped because it's Dude, going to be in that. Well, there are so many gradable cards in this set. I'm saying. I'm honestly thinking maybe we should take anything that's not a normal GX and just boot and just, it on off. Yes. And be like, sorry, and we have nothing for sale, but uh, we'll open all the ones that aren't tens. And then PSA graded <laughs> returns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how it goes. That'd be pretty sick. I mean, I would. Uh, yeah. You know what? I might. I might just be like, just give them all. Drop on it. And yep. just, just do it. Just do it. Just See whatever. See how we do. Dude, then our. Our blind boxes, our PSA blind box would be insane. Oh, uh, yeah, it would be. Oh, my because God. Because we would, uh, I mean, all the cards that we don't get back that are, like, not 10s would go into the PSA blind box. I mean, you'd have to start throwing 10s in there as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a huge mm. stack of 10s. Do they uh, Do they all know about? The PSA blind box? Yeah. No, I haven't really talked about it. So uh, I guess we can kick our idea. We have, oh, God, I, upstairs I probably have, well, like, close to 100 PSA graded 10s that are all from standard. Yeah, 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 and uh, they're just they're just sitting there. They're sitting well, no, not all from standard. There's a couple uh, of the There's pretend some older Pikachus. stuff in there. The Pikachu's wearing different outfits. Those some go promos. For well over hundred dollars a piece. Right. Well over. We've 100. got some cool graded cards, but and, uh, we don't know what to do with them. Not a lot to do with them. <laughs> well, okay, we do know what we should do with them. We should eBay them and we should list them on TCG Player, but. We're super lazy. Yeah. So it's kind <laughs> of easier to be like, all right, we're going to do a PSA uh, blind box where you, I don't even know how much, we'd have to figure it all out. And you buy it and you get a random graded PSA card that we have. Right. So you could, you know, spike it and hit, uh, like, really well or right, you Right, because we're not. not selling, I really, we're not selling any of our PSA graded stuff. Not you anymore. know, so we have it all, all the good stuff and all the mediocre stuff. And, I'm and pretty... we just toss it into a pool. And you your know, lowest grade is going to be like an eight. Right. The average is going to be nine. We don't sell anything. I mean, we don't send anything away for PSA Greninja. We don't do exactly what we were talking about. Blindly right. send it all off. Right. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the average is definitely nine. Probably probably above that actually. I but agree. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to see. Especially after we send this stuff off. Oh, for sure. That'd be insane. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually uh, pretty hyped now because. The quality is insane. We're, uh, we're hitting great. incredible. Yeah, we are hitting pretty good for sure. There's another Volcanion Prism. Oh, yep. My codes are all sorts of messed up. Oh, you're not separating the codes? I am separating, but the pile is... Okay. No, yes, I'm not separating the, the codes. I mean, I'm separating the codes. I'm just throwing them in a right. loose pile. Kind of like what you're doing over uh, there. Yes, yeah. You see? Yes, so I got Dude, double Gumi. <laughs> You can cool. get a triple Gumi pack, by you the way. You can get a triple Gumi pack. I know it's possible. It is possible. There is science. You could get a triple Gumi, Gudra, and whatever. Sligu. Sligu, all in the same pack. <laughs> That'd be an insane pack. The odds of that? Very uh, small. Yeah, you have a better chance of winning a lotto. Well, uh, we could win the lottery right here. I don't yeah, know. That's all I'm, Gudra. Yeah. I yeah. have gotten the double Gumi. I haven't. I don't think I've seen the triple, triple Gumi yet. No, it's it's hard to hit. I mean, the odds triple of the triple anything. Gumi. Yeah, the odds of the triple Gumi are gonna be very small. I mean, very very small. Oh, by the way, Deantha, I know a lot of people actually just listen to us. Full art. 
Oh my God, they're all getting sent off. These are beautiful. I have a stack that I opened over there and they are all like meh. They're not that great. I literally should be like, nah, meh. I know. Okay, I'll stop looking at the conditional cards. I think we should just blindly send them off. And then I agree. I'll kick they're looking PSA returns. Right, I agree. That'd be hype. Screw PSA graded returns. Oh, wait, wait. I got that. Uh, Gumi. 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 What was your next card? Oh. Uh, I was hoping they'd be like in the same. Uh, Oh, the same order. Yeah, I've, I love when a thousand packs. We've had that happen a few times. Dude, the packs did you hear are about identical. for the yeah, but for the pre-releases? There was actually a guy that I saw on Twitter who opened all five Prism cards in one of the pre-release kit. What? In one, one pack. What? In one pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So like the pack would come with you know one of each of the Prism cards. So and he got two of those packs in one pre-release kit. So the photo was of him showing like two play sets of all, you know, two complete sets of all the Prism cards That's that he hilarious. pulled in one pre-release box. So out of four packs, he had two of them. Double Gumi, dude, happens more than you. I feel like I'm finding the Double Gumi at the front. Yeah, like, at the front. Pretty often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do need to start paying attention to the uh, uncommons because from the boxes we were opening, people were pointing out a lot of... Uh, a lot of patterns. A lot of pattern stuff. Yes, they were. And I'm sure you're starting with the the commons. You should try to right. remember the third card hmm. uh, whenever you do that and see if it starts. Right. Yeah. Random. Itself. Random is a myth. Random is never truly random. There is. Guys. Yeah. There is no such thing as randomness. <laughs> There's no such thing as randomness. Computers can't handle that. And computers especially, are what's doing this. Especially oh, printing. Yeah. Printing shops are definitely not randomizing these fully. So. No. Mm -mm. No. Because there is. There is formulas that go into how many of each card and whatever that you're gonna get. So, I mean, that's for sure. Hey, we got the metal Dialga. What is it for, like a stat or for a deck of playing cards? You have to shuffle and riffle seven times. It's to get seven to times. You have to riffle, riffle seven times, and then. Alter Necrozma. Oh, that's beautiful full, full art. art. I haven't seen that yet. That's insane. It is definitely almost lemony. Looks like one of the gold cards, almost just a little more yellow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to send these all off. It's beautiful. That's so insane. Excited. Sick rip. But uh. Would you believe me if I said in the history of all poker hands that have ever been dealt or shuffled, no deck has ever been exactly the same? What? It's only 52 cards, right? Uh-huh. But start thinking about how many different combinations. different combinations you can do when you've got 52. That is so insane. A number my brain can't handle. No, definitely can't handle it. What do we get? What do we get? Beast energy. Beast so, mode. Statistically speaking, there has never been a deck... Shuffled exactly the same. That ever. is insane. In the history of what? humankind. What? No way. I feel like there's so many card games. I guess, but the odds of getting all for you. Think about how many oh variations there are. It's like it's a mind-blowing number. I don't even know how you actually factor that. This is where we need Dan, since he's yeah. a math major. Riley's a math guy. Riley, what do you think about that? Uh, it's a factorial. You get like 67 zeros or something. On the Ooh! Something insane. <laughs> yeah, like approaching a Google, but not quite there. Oh, uh, we talking about a Googleplex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just, again, so the odds of two decks ever right. being identical. So you're saying it never happened. It's never happened. You're saying oh, odds God. are it never happened. You, I mean, there's no way to actually know. Overwhelming <laughs> statistics say it has never happened. Right, right, right. It could have, I but... mean, there's obviously, like, you know, we have not inspected every deck that was ever shuffled. We, we can't know. But odds are... You know what, with the, that kind of odds? Yeah, we know. We'll take it. Two <laughs> Goomies, but they're not the first two. No, my first card was a Goomy and the other one. But they keep coming next to each other. Back to back. The Goomies are coming in swarms. Oh, wait. Goomy in the sure. front. No, see, not mine. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. I'm feeling hyped on these pulls so far. we got two of the Seeker Rares already. We've got, like, four Ultra... Or three Ultra Necrozma. How many Ultra Necrozma have you pulled? One. Ultra Necrozma is just one, I think. One, and I pulled two. I also so have three been Ultra forgetting Necrozma. to pull out the Mysterious Treasures and Beast Rings. No! <laughs> we'll find them later. What? Well, yep. Yeah. That's... Grim Ninja, super cool. Get, get over there. Nice hit. I mean, people are hyping Greninja. It's like the the yeah. new Crobat. So it is Greninja. Cool. And it is Greninja. I don't know. I don't know why Pokemon just decided, like, we love Greninja. Maganadale. And I feel like what they pr they printed just so many Greninja cards. I don't know. And they're not stopping. Why? Which is weird because Greninja came into being a very, very long time ago. What do you mean? Um, when he was introduced. Oh, in, like, a, uh, was it XY? The Kalos region? Yeah, right? is that XY? I mean, black and white. Which one is it, guys? It's the first time that Mega came out. Is it XY? All right, it was XY. So that's, like... That's back in the day, man. Right. So it's not even like he's a new, he's not like a sun and moon starter. 
but he's getting more airtime than like anybody. Is it because he's in the anime? And like, you think he's popular that way? I I don't know. I I can't really decide. I can't I mean, figure out. Froki was for a while because Froki's what actually saved Ash the first time he went there. Right. So Beast like, energy. Froki was the hero, but that's meh. That's not a. I don't know. Right. Oh my god. Look, look at. Yeah. I can't. I got the clear part of this. I pack. just have no. Oh my gosh! Right. So much plastic. <laughs> so much plastic Pokemon. There's so much plastic. You know. You know. Like you know, water bottle companies did with like. You know, like the, the water bottles, and they started using less plastic. You know, maybe you guys could <laughs> take a little. Nah, man, they're doubling up on these things. Up, that's what I'm saying. They're doubling up. If you've seen any of the Pokemon boxes that are in, hey, Fairmosa, if you've seen any of the Pokemon boxes that are in Walmart or whatever, dude, oh those things have got infinite amounts of plastic in them. Yup, they are insane to open. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive amount of. Waste. Right. Oh my gosh, so much. Yeah, but you've seen a lot of the Japanese product. No, nah, man, it's straight so to the minimal. point. So minimal. Straight yeah, to the point. Yeah, just a little cardboard box. I love, I mean, but even if you look at, like, Japanese marketing and stuff, and even the way that, you know, Japan does their advertising and stuff, it's totally different oh, yeah. than American advertising. Oh, even the, the, the backs of the Pokemon. Oh, there we go. Yveltal GX. The backs of the Pokemon cards in Japan, totally different. Yep. Uh, you could tell just the way that, you know, Americans care about their branding and stuff is just entirely different and if you've looked at a japanese advertisement ever it looks extremely busy yes. compared to yes, it does. well it all reminds me of like things that like teenager cartoons would do right you know what i mean like i don't have to really explain that but yeah it's... Ooh, we also got a full art dianthia let's it's actually awesome look, look and see i think this is a beautiful looking card yeah probably like almost perf what do we got that looks uh, absolutely uh, minty. Yes, that's it. <laughs> minty fresh. Yep. Great. This set is nuts right now. I mean, even the the initial ones that we opened out of the out of the pre-release kits, and even our initial boxes were like not that no, great. No, they were not. No, we're and we're also just like hitting better. I don't know if it's just because we've opened a lot more cards now, but I feel like our first few boxes were like not super wild in terms of no, they hits were they were. Again, I'm gonna math. That's what I'm gonna keep using. Yeah, today. yeah, we're math. Yeah, math. Uh huh. Now I have not pulled nearly any mysterious treasure though. From my, now I I may have missed some yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. I probably missed some. Let's be honest. Yeah. But I have not been seeing the mysterious treasures in the B strings. I think I've only got one B string. Oh, there you go. Two oh, mysterious treasure. Where you first hello B string? Gumi, one Gumi. Oh, B string though. There he is. All right, there's our computer doing something. Oh, sweet. Yep, nice. That's fine. Awesome. That's cool. Hey, we're still recording, so we're good <laughs> yep. to go. Getting notifications. Oh, no, come on. Sometimes I notice like YouTube will just give us notifications for some reason. <laughs> yeah. And like, why are they popping up on the side of the screen? I don't know what oh, I did or who did what in order to. No, it's weird. Sometimes I'll get a notification, be like, oh, so and so replied to your comment. Like, right. Um, uh, we leave dozens sure, a day. <laughs> pretty sure I did not subscribe to get notifications on comments on YouTube. No, it's but very here we are. Weird. <laughs> also sweet, you know, kind of like how you have to go back and and redo the the playlist function every single oh time. Oh my god, <laughs> that's been a problem since the day I was on YouTube. Uh huh. Not gonna do. Never got fixed. The oh. YouTube's playlist they won't update themselves. You need to go nope. and you need to refresh the. Manually we do it. Manually do if it. If we didn't manually update our front page, it would look like we never released a video. Right. It's insane. Which is nuts. You figure that, you know, a company like Google would be able to fix their automated system. Nah. See, nah. the problem... Okay, you know, I don't want to say the problem, but an issue with uh, YouTube, I'm not going to say Google as a whole. All right. It's they're too busy, like, trying to do new cutting-edge things to... Right go back and actually fix what's already broken. Right. That, that's what it seems like, at least. They're looking forward and they're uh, forgetting that, you know, they got some, <laughs> some problems behind them. They need right. Hey, an oh my goodness. I've opened like five regular... Oh, not not, I actually have one full art Yveltal. I've opened like five Yveltal GX. Have you opened as many Yveltal GX as I have? Um, I felt like I did. I mean, there's you two right few. here. Right. I feel like I hit a string of them, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I've got like four or five. Like it's definitely my biggest hitter so far. Cool. Which is oh, there's a code. Hey. <laughs> yeah, don't put it. Uh, no, yeah, that <laughs> don't put it in uh, your stack. That one's going. That one's going a different stack. Yep. Um, I was gonna say hi, Mario. Gumi. All right, we in for a Gumi Gumi? No. All right. 
Yeah, it's not that's double. letting us down lately. Not the double gooms. It's not working out. Why do I feel like we're blowing through these? I don't know. I feel like our pace is super good. It's because we're not sorting. Ah, that's probably yes, what it is. Yes, The villain. Busted card. That Come card is so good in the pre-release. I like how we have our, our relief openers behind us this time. And we now do. we're like, oh man, this is going fine. Right. <laughs> I know. I'm sure that they'll... Uh, I told them that I would take them out to dinner if they... Uh, there you go. They help, so... Um, we might have, uh, at my house, we're going to be uh, barbecuing, so we might have some left. I don't know. Uh. Depends what they're making. <laughs> I mean, if it's something like if they're doing kebabs again, then, you know, you only buy as many as other right, people right. are planning. But if it's something like steak and burgers or whatever, then that's just, you yeah, have unlimited quality. Right, right. It was a good run, though. Are we used to, I feel like we used to get, like, more than two people in on the opening scene. Uh, yeah, usually we'd... Try to have like you know three or four. I'm saying like I mean, hey, I got we, could probably, we could probably put an angle like four, and we would be operating at like at like turbo mode. <laughs> oh no, that is absolute sir. It's just cards flying in the middle. Right. That's that's all it is. It's yeah, and uh -huh. it's hard to even talk about what you're opening because you can't. Right. It's, right. it's four voices being like, oh, I got this. Oh, I got this. Oh, I, I got this. this. Right. <laughs> That's mysterious all it is. Mysterious treasure. I literally think I just put a mysterious treasure in my pile. I don't know. I'm really bad at looking for it. I keep wanting to pull out the unidentified fossils because, you know, I love me that. I think I've got the art of opening these thick forbidden light packs down, though. Yeah, I'm trying to rip it the, how you just, just did like, right there. Actually, yeah, you find, like, the sweet spot. Beast Ring Hollow. It took me a little bit of time to find that sweet spot, though, but yeah, now it's now it's good to go. We got it officially. We're learning. We are learning. Wow, look I at that. I feel like I've opened a million packs in and a row. And now I feel like I'm hitting a high string of like the trainer cards. I don't know if it's just because my awareness for them has increased. Or <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should start paying attention. Hey, yeah. we finally got a Diancy prison. How about that? That's How a thing. That? that is a nice, nice All right, I'm on there. a very big dry spell, it feels like. Yeah, well, we were hot there, there for go. a minute. There we go. Oh, hey, Palkia. Palkia. Oh, man. That, that doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. We just had, just like the Dialga I opened. I feel um, like... I, that was the last one I opened. Dialga oh and then Alpaca. Oh, yeah. my goodness. But the Rainbow Rares. That's a waste of two hyper <laughs> I know, right? I feel like, oh, this is like, definitely, I've opened like infinite Beast Rings, though, or Beast Energy, though. I feel like I have a ton Say, infinite Beast effort. Rings would be great. That would be great. Alter in crowd. Oh, my gosh, uh, another full art. Full art. Oh, that's amazing. But... I feel like this whole thing with like the reprints that Pokemon's doing, like that I'm not super into. Why are we getting tons of reprints? They're not exciting. They're not different enough type the typing differences is not making a difference in the game at all either. I mean, are you so over Savali being shoved down our throats? Oh my gosh. Okay, at least we don't have a Savali <laughs> in this set. That would be that would just be insulting, I think. Yeah, hey, I got tired of that. And then they're like, ooh, look, Savali box. I'm like this. Stop oh my it. gosh, stop. Stop the it. The Savali figure box, the Savali, like shiny Savali box, Beast Ring, Arceus. And again, what, why Why did Savali just in the same dang pack. become a huge thing in their eyes as well? Right. I don't know. I don't know how Pokemon decides like what Pokemon are cool. Like, I get, okay, so Darkrai, obviously, I see. I mean, what, do what, Darkrai, what do we get? What do we get? A, another Greninja. Oh my goodness. Darkrai's Darkrai. I can see why Pokemon likes Darkrai. You know, he's pretty cool. Mewtwo, all right, I get it. You know, that'll never like that'll never die. That'll never die. Mewtwo will be cool forever. Mewtwo was cool when I was eight years old, and now Mewtwo is cool to eight year olds now and to adults. Dialga. Like we we get it. Like Mewtwo's appeal is pretty much unanimous. I don't know, man. I'd like to see uh remember when they loved Rayquaza? I would love to see it again. It's right. a space dragon. That can never get old. I don't know. I <laughs> Come think on. he's I think he's a dumb lipstick dragon. You know what, man? <laughs> You're dumb, dude. <laughs> you ever seen it? He's got the big red lips. I know. I I know. You know it's space uh, dragon. But I'm just saying, it's right. a space dragon. I mean, he's cooler than some of the stuff we're getting shoved out of here. It's like Greninjas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Volcanion, what is a Volcanion? I don't know. He's like a big like fire spider with like a water ring on his back. Um, like, Volcanion is the thing that had steam up. That's all you need to know. I, yeah, Done. a good card. But what is he? <laughs> but what? What is he? Riley, what's a Volcanion? Uh huh. I think it's kind of like a cat almost. It's, it's a, a cat. cat. It's a cat. <laughs> it's like cat ears. A cat. Natalie, what's a Volcanion? Tell me, what, what does Volcanion say? In your opinion, what do you think Volcanion says on his card? 
if it had to say, you know how it says like Volcan be Volcano Pokemon. If it had to say like Volcano. beaver Pokemon, you know. Vol Volcano Bull. There you go. You think Volcano Bull? No, that would be insane if it was that specific. It is not going to be Volcano Bull, I can tell you that. No, it's Does it's it say not. it here? No, I don't think they have the stats on these cards. Uh, I don't, I no, it does. No. It says uh, it expels its internal steam from the arms on its back. Uh, it has enough power to blow away a mountain. Wow. Ooh. Those are arms on its back? Yeah, I they guess. Move around and stuff. Those are not arms. I, they are arms. I guess usually they're like sealed in a complete ring. That's why I was a little confused. Yeah, exactly. Is that usually it's a big ring, but I guess he could detach the ring and yeah. then just like use them to expel steam. Yeah, that's where the steam comes from. <laughs> oh. and, and, the, and the steam can knock mountains back. So huh? you're telling me that's how he uses steam up, is with the steam jets. The steam jets coming out of his sides. Ooh, cool stuff. Cool stuff. So, oh, yeah. I don't know. Cards I'm looking for out of the set. I definitely feel like I need the Necrozmas. I feel like that's like, I mean, I, I guess I should probably grab a couple Nagandels either. Oh, we got it. Naganadel? A Naganadel. I was definitely saying that wrong for the first, like, infinite times that I said the card. Naganadel. I like Nag it and I'm rolling with it. Full Art Greninja. But I guess I do need some Naganadels or whatever. Greninjas? I'm like not sure if I need, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess I need Naganadels. I need Greninjas. I need uh, the Ultra Necrozma GXs. I feel like, you know, the Mysterious Treasure and the B-Strings. I think I still need a few more B-Strings as well. Mysterious Treasures. I was able to get my hands on those just by attending the pre-releases, though. Since some of the pre-release packs do come with the Mysterious Treasures, so that's nice. Uh, stacks upside down. But I feel like, you know, Mysterious Treasure is a card that probably hang on to, you know, it might go up in price eventually, you know, years down the road. Probably is not getting a reprint, you have to imagine. It's, it's like kind of a weirdly specific Yeah, card I was going to say, it's too specific. Right. But it's... Oh, stop it's the Dialgus! A card that's going to stay good, I think, for a long time. Hey, we got a Naganadel. That's my first Naganadel. 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 There we go. That's that's my first uh, weird wasp spider purple thing. There you go. I've opened. Yeah. Well, I forgot Lucario's a um, thing. Right? Reprints galore in this set. We got full art and rainbow rare Lucario's in the set as well. So, and it's nice to have that Lucario, I guess, as a not. Uh, you know, as a not promo, I do appreciate that. And I think the full art fighting Pokemon just all look really cool. Natalie can second that. What? Full art fighting Pokemon look cool. Yes, Buzzwolves. Natalie loves the full art Buzzwolves <laughs> and the full art Lycan Rocks. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I can I can agree with that. What show? I was catching some flack the other day because I was doing a deck profile with the full arts, and kind of someone in the comments was saying that. I was uh, I was being cheap by not using my Rainbow Rare versions on the deck profile. Yeah, come on now, I was man. Like, Listen, all right, we got the full arts look great, man. You, you just threw me under the bus. I was like, I did. I was the comments. I was like, I was like, I don't know. Uh, blame Natalie. Natalie's <laughs> fault. Natalie's fault. These are her cards, not mine. Oh, uh, I mean, when I was actually streaming uh, PTGO, I that's why I had to get four of the uh, the Plasma Freeze Ultra Balls. I'm like, I gotta have them. Right. Gotta get them. It was like $800 back oh my then. Gosh. So that was well before the reprint. And the beaches, uh, actually, any PTCGO account that has tropical beaches, oh, beaches, beaches are worth so much. I think it's like, isn't it like $100 for a code right now? Uh, anybody? Natalie, uh, Riley? Uh, that I don't know. Is it 200 for a code? Yeah. I think, no, yeah. Is it one? Or it actually probably, it it's like, yeah, 175, 200 for a code. It's like 200 for a code. Because it comes with a place at home. Right. And the code comes with. Four, so you get a place that they're 50 bucks a piece. That's pretty insane for a PTCGO digital card. Oh, dude, what is the uh, the special deck boxes and sleeves that were? Oh my! They came gosh. out when like the store was released, but no one knew about it, and they went away quickly. Oh my god! I cannot think what they're called. I don't know, but I've seen like some crazy trade offers for those. Oh my! Uh, no, like back in the day, yeah, when I was looking for the Ultra Ball, someone's like, "I'll give you four secret Ultra Ball Ultra Balls for one of these." I was oh like, "What god. is this thing? What? It's like 800 bucks. Right. What is this thing? That's so crazy." Yeah, they're virtually non-existent. Ultra Recon Squad. Squad. Again. But that's the thing is like, I don't feel like, oh, I, I'm so conflicted about investing into my own PTCGO account though. Because like, what if one day I just get an unlocked one? And then I like... Spent... We were supposed to have an unlocked one uh, I know. forever ago. Thanks, Mikey. Yeah, 
good. Way to go on that one, Mikey. I know. We were supposed to have one. Mikey said that talk to some people. I don't know. Maybe we need to do some more talking. You, know, you can use my personal one. It doesn't have a lot of the new stuff on it, but oh my god, you need anything old? Yeah. Because all I played it. is expanded. Right. So I, I got a lot on there. I probably have several thousands of packs on there still, too. Oh, sick. I'm not even joking. Right. I mean, when I ended up putting all my uh, Roaring Skies on there, when Roaring Skies was huge, it was over 800 codes I put That's in. That's insane. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Mainly because I needed to trade for Ultra Balls. Right. But, right. Yeah, I've so I got doing, a lot of fodder. I've been doing a good job keeping my account up to date. It's got almost everything on it. Just not a lot of the not a lot of the shiny stuff, unfortunately. But Well, we had the store account as well, but I still wanted my personal Hey, account. double hit. We got Volcanium Prism and a Rainbow Rare Zygarde and a code for y'all. I'm like more okay. than halfway through here. Uh, are we going to have anyone tag in? We are turning along. If, yeah, if you guys have, want to. Yeah, if not, I can keep pushing forward. Yeah, let's, uh, let's tag some friends in. You got you guys gonna tag in? Ah, yeah. oh, I'm gonna end on a unit energy. There we go. Secret Let's get rare. Natalie and Riley up here on board. All three of us. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be me, this one, uh, Natalie, and Riley. If any of you guys watch the Darium's competitive well, channel, I'll tell you what, Darium from Darium's Pokemon dipping. The rest can stay. <laughs> yes. Uh, but Natalie and Riley, very Here familiar. Goes, Familiar faces to the channel on the competitive side because they help me with feature matches all the time. So welcome, welcome Riley, welcome Natalie. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Just gotta make sure you gotta make sure that uh. Getting too close to that mic. Oh yeah. Okay. She's gonna be a little bit more quiet, and you're gonna right be blowing things out. Oh look at that first pack magic. There you go. Palkia though. Sick. Only thing you gotta make sure you open the packs on the camera. Yep, that's it. That is. Or else. Treasure, drop it in the pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the there we go. Treasure. There we go. Yep. So as so long like as we're they're openers and training. So long. Yes, yeah, yeah, so openers on training. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That code was shown. Oh yeah. So make sure the, the codes that are shown. Yeah, put them separate pile. Okay. Separate pile. We don't want to like sell them. Yeah, the codes yep. are face up in these packs. Super right. annoying. Right. Right. And if you show it for a split second, someone scanned it. <laughs> there we go. That's how it works. Anti prism, sweet stuff. So As you just that again. dude, this code was definitely shown. Oh my gosh, I am. Man, there we go. Not, I know. I know. You are not doing well. <laughs> I am not. I am not well right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, see, he took the code out. On right, the took the code out. There we go. No risk now. No risk. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, so Natalie and Riley, what cards are you got? There we hey, go. You almost did it I again. almost did it again. I know. I'm tilted right now. I'm so sorry. I know. You got me nervous. What cards are you guys most excited about from the set? Um, Naganadel, because it's called Naganadel. Why is um, that cool? Why is it cool that it's Naganadel? It's kind of a cool name. <laughs> because Nagas were awesome in World of Warcraft. Oh, what's a Naga? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm done. Bye. Am I fired? Uh, I'm <laughs> How are cards I excited I about? Yeah, oh, what cards yeah. are you guys excited about? I don't know. Beast String's oh, pretty fun. cool. Oh, look at this. Ultra Necrozma, though. Hey. That deck seems really fun. I don't oh, know. Oh, the Ultra Necrozma deck? Yeah. Here's the perfect fit. Nice. Some Malamars. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malamar. Do you guys have your Malamars and stuff yet? I don't. I went to a pre release, actually, and I pulled absolutely nothing. So that was pretty Nothing. Nothing. He ain't pulling nothing. <laughs> I was able to <laughs> trade for a Nagadel as far as I could go with trades. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, I've got Naganado. I got a bunch of a bunch of Palkias in my pre-releases. I was a little bit salty about it uh, <laughs> because they were all just regular art Palkias. I mean, it's probably the least exciting card that you can rip out of this set. You oh, know? Yeah, for sure. Like at least Stalg is kind of useful. Right, right. But it's it's all good. It's all Those good. Like hard the open. packs are very tough to open. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You gotta really be aggressive with them, Loki. Is what I've found to be the best key to success. So. Oh, full art Greninja. Hey! Sick cool. rip. Got sleeves over there. Full art Palkia. Back it up with another blue boy. All right. The least exciting full art card that can possibly <laughs> be open, but uh, that's that's fine. This is this is all good to go. This is all totally okay and appropriate. <laughs> and you guys, you guys will get used to the rhythm. You kind of just toss the packs behind you. You right. toss it. Yeah, we just, you know, Mikey can clean this up when he gets back from Brazil. I'm Florida Zernius, too. Hey. Nice. I'm running Mike, hot over here. Mikey be out there enjoying the Brazilian sun while we are uh, enduring some torrential downpours here <laughs> in Akron, Ohio. 
I was driving down the highway earlier today and I thought that the roof of my Jeep nearly got ripped off by wind. Yes, uh, because, and uh, you know, just the other week a tornado like touched down apparently in downtown Akron. So, you know, not feeling the most excited about my place here. Hey, double nice. hits, Rainbow Rare, oh, Uveltal cool. GX, and the Lysander Prism. That is sick. Yeah, just make sure you show those on camera, Natalie. I am. Sweet. Good stuff. Got to sleep both these. I got to make sure. We got to make sure that I give myself a stack of sleeves. There we go. Natalie, a stack of sleeves. I haven't had any. I haven't hit anything besides that. <laughs> yeah. That Naganadel, so I haven't needed them yet. It's all good. It's all good. Thousand packs. This is a marathon, man. This, this stuff. But this is probably going to be like our world record for like the quickest thousand pack opening. Since we are not actually sorting, things are going quite swimmingly here. Definitely appreciate. Did I just pull the Sarcius? Yes, I did. Gonna have to sleeve that boy up there too. But I don't know. What are you guys trying to do later? What do we got going on? Mexican. We're gonna go to get some Mexican food. All right, sounds pretty good. And then uh, I don't know. We gonna play some Ticket to Ride. We gonna play I don't some know, Pokemon man. cards. I'm undefeated all time, and I almost don't want to throw that. <laughs> you don't want to throw it. Did you bring your copy of Ticket to Ride, Riley? I don't own a copy, but oh. I played it with my friends twice oh. since last time. We you played, played twice and won both times? Uh-huh. Oh, nuts. It's <laughs> insane. Riley is a force to be reckoned with. Oh. oh, check that out. We got the Seeker Rare Beast Ring. Beast that car looks cool. so cool. And the Dialga there. Awesome stuff. How's pretty, that look, Natalie? It's pretty nice here, right? There. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah, good. Really oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Sweet. So now we've got both of the most expensive cards oh, yeah, the first beast in the set. That is our first Secret Rare Beast Ring so far. So definitely awesome there. And I don't know, maybe we'll play some oh, Pokemon. Crash hey! I didn't even know this before. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. And I got a double hit as well. Sick. Dude, I'm getting a lot of double hits. It's exciting with the Prism cards getting. Yeah, it's fun to get the double hit, even if the Prisms sure. aren't always that good. For sure, for sure. Right. Right. Yeah, the prison cards are always hit or miss. I feel like it's kind of the same way as it was with, like, break cards. You know, Palkia. Oh, Palkia. Palkia. Why are you here? <laughs> Disrupting my opening. But, yeah, we can play some Ticket to Ride, play some Pokemon cards. I'm definitely excited about getting some, I don't know, playing some old format. Uh, I think we're all going to that League Cup tomorrow, right? Yeah. But I don't think any of us are going to play. Riley, are you going to play? Probably not. I was thinking about whether I wanted expanded, to. Expanded, man. Yeah, I already got my win expanded. Naganado. Oh, we got a Dianthe Prism. Sick. So, yeah, I think all of us are going to go to support our friends because all of our friends like are going to be there. In the zone in Ashtabula. Right. The store. We also like the store because they sell a lot of old cards there, which are great for our old card collections. So, Riley, I have to ask, how come you do not have an old card collection? I I want to. I don't know. It's just it's really hard to get hey. into it right now. Diantha. Yeah, it's a bad time to get into this it. It's like probably the worst time you can get into old card collecting. Well, you know who has some super affordable old decks for sale? <laughs> <laughs> is, <laughs> is this guy? <laughs> uh, which is uh, funny. I actually am trying to. Diantha, we pull out. We don't pull out Diantha's are we? No. I've been I've been putting together old decks because I love collecting old decks so much that I see cards even though I have almost everything from base set to like base neo built and I have like some rocket on decks built as well so everything through like the neo series oh. sick full art Zygarde everything through the neo series I pretty much have sleeved up but. I kept collecting the cards. So anytime I'd see the cards at like a card shop or anything like that, anytime I'd see these cards that I knew were from decks that were good, I would just like pick them up because I'd be like, well, they're just sitting here, so I might as well like buy them. Like, and, you know, I try to get them for like not very expensive. I buy them off of like bulk collections, things oh. like that. Rainbow Rare Lucario, looking nice. Lysander Prism over here. Beast Ring. Sick. So I would try to just like collect them, and then I like realized that I had a ton of these old cards. So I was like, well, what am I gonna do? Am I just gonna like, you know, build old decks for the whole world, and like, <laughs> or am I just gonna like, you know, use them as Christmas gifts for my friends? Like, I I don't know. <laughs> pretty sweet Christmas gift though. Yeah, I have to have to say, like, you know, I would, yeah. probably be a pretty nice Christmas gift. So 
That, Double that might end up happening. Nice. But uh, I decided to start putting them in my Etsy store. So I have an Etsy store where I'm starting to sell some old decks. Got Haymaker up there right now. And the Haymakers have been selling awesome. Like, I definitely have got a few people that Another were stoked on those already. I sent those out just a few days ago. But I saw some pictures on Twitter. People saying that they received them. And that they were excited about them to start playing. So that was awesome. I kind of, like, love spreading the love and enjoyment of the old formats since they're just a lot of fun to play. It's hard for me to, I don't know, it's kind of hard to to play the game standard format, like, for fun, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, when it, the format's new, uh, well, Canyon. Are we oh. leaving the prison? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, the, when the format's newer, it's funner. When we're trying to figure, or more fun. When we're trying to figure it out, but then yeah, trying uh, to solve it's fun. Then, like then... you know, at this point, we've had the same format for a while. It's not that fun anymore. Right. So like right now, our current standard format, it is a little bit of a grind. Light, though, I guess. Yeah. Oh, testing forbidden light's been a lot of fun because you get to feel like you're inventive, you're creating something, right? But. Riley, can Riley, the engineer, figure out how to engineer no, this pack back. open? Uh -huh. try open this pack all right, open. all right, here we go, here we go. Okay, that was rough. <laughs> I think your sweat really got <laughs> to that one. Thing. I don't know. You think? Yeah, I don't know. Made it made it hard to grip for sure. My thumb just slipped right off it. <laughs> Maybe. But, and I guess right now it's standard format. But that's what we've been. This isn't even like the current legal standard format. It's not forbidden light, but we've been testing forbidden light because it's more fun. Right. Then testing our current standard format, We're gonna which... We're going to Toronto with whatever we feel like at this point. <laughs> and that's the thing, is we are all registered for Toronto, but, I mean, that's it's just the same old format. There's, like, nothing super new or exciting about it. Oh, beast energy. So we're probably just going to play, you know, something with some strong and energy, energy in it. And a beast ring. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably going to uh, play a deck... Something that rhymes with uh, Smuzzwool. All right, we're probably going to play something that rhymes with Smuzzwool. Oh, man, Smorark. There's Smorark. <laughs> right, it's going to be one of the two. You're either playing Buzzwool or Zorark. I feel like it's... Uh, you couldn't... You couldn't get me to play Guardy. I don't think that <laughs> that's going to be a situation. So, yeah, with that in the mix, it's like uh, I have one of two choices. And that's just, like, not really exciting. I'm not going to, like, test those matchups for months and months. I just like Canada. I'm going to make a call, and we're just going to go with it. But I do like Canada. I'm excited to meet Darium's fans out in Canada for sure. Canada's great. I love Canada. Right. Riley, when was the last time you've been to Canada? Uh, Toronto Regions last year. Oh, nice. Nice. Very cool. How did that tournament end up going for you, Riley? I lost my winning end today, too. Oh, boo. Yeah. It was fine. That was a fun experience. Like, right, I for sure. really enjoy the city. Oh, yeah. The city was a lot of fun. I can see why Drake likes it so much. Yeah, it's awesome. True. Beautiful. Very cool. It's out there. Yeah, Putin. Awesome. Putin. Putin. What a Putin. Yeah. <laughs> Putin like Vladimir. Uh huh. Just, just like, just like good old Vladdy. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know if you should compare the two. I mean, I don't know. They're pronounced the same, right? That's all I was trying to say. A beast ring. Got a nice. over here. Sweet. Yeah, Canada should be fun. And I'm excited to meet more Darium's fans out there in Canada. But other than that, you know, cracking these packs is fun. It's cool. Train game's fun. <laughs> and you think Sean will try in the train game? You think Sean will try to bring over Sean, our friend Sean? Loves board games. Loves board games. I want to play more uh, Catan, honestly. Catan? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't won that. that one yet. So. Right. I believe uh, I. I mean, the only thing that matters is Riley's winning. So. Uh, listen, we're all very competitive individuals. All right. Uh, never once have I been competitive. That's a lie. <laughs> that is a definitely a lie. So, for anyone wondering why my hands are completely destroyed. It's, uh, I've been, ooh, look at that. Oh, uh, ouch. ouch. So, I've been going to the climbing gym with Natalie. We've both been doing it. Mine don't look great, but they look better than yours. You can tell, yeah. right, just, it's it's been brutal on our hands. My friend Otto goes with us sometimes, too. But it's basically a rock climbing gym, so kind of, like, imagine those rock climbing walls that you might see, I don't know, at, like, a fair or something like that, where they strap you in, except this gym, there are, you don't get strapped in. It's called bouldering, so you only climb, like, so high, and it's, like, still pretty high, though. I would say, pretty like, it's, like, the wall is probably 20 feet high um, at the end. You know, it's probably 20 feet high. If you jump from the top of the wall, you're probably going to hurt your knees. Uh, <laughs> like, you're probably going to be in some pain. Lysander and Palkia, probably... 
The least exciting double hit box. Oh, Rainbow Rare Ultimate get. Cosmo. That's, Ooh, that's pretty cool. that is sick. Nice rip there, Riley. Sick stuff. So, yeah, we went to the went to the climbing gym today. That was awesome. They had this this uh, this course set up. Basically, you try to you try to like climb different courses that they set up, and the courses are color coded, so you know like you know which course is which one. And I was trying like so hard to get across this really long course that they had set up. It was like half the gym. It was a competition. It took like yeah, it was from a competition. Ultra Recon Squad. But I was like really busting my butt trying to get it. And I've been working at it all week. And then like I got to the final move of the whoa, just threw my pack <laughs> across all these hits. But finally got to that final move and I just like couldn't get it. And that's why I got that like that hole in my hand. I like ripped my hand open trying to get it. It was like, it's kind of rough. But I know Darium wants me to get started on this toy channel. And the toy channel is going to require a lot of use of my hands and a lot of like me opening toys and things like that. But I'm like worried that my hands are going to be like too ugly for huh. the toy channel and that it's just like not going to be super aesthetically pre pleasing. Because that's like one of the biggest things about the toy channel is you just want it to be like fun to look at toys. But I don't. I feel like it's, it's gonna be very distracting looking at my ugly, haggard hands. That's fine. Once you get used to it, you get like calluses that I sort think of just part in your hands, make it easier. That's what I'm hoping for. Is that eventually just my hands become like rocks and basically, yes, yeah, and yeah, that's what happens. That they no longer feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, like that's what happens. That's yeah, basically what happens. Little rocks That'll on top nice. of your hands. Right. So sensitive. I know. Natalie's got lady hands. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. So. Yeah, hopefully that's the case, man, dude. All right, we're starting to hit that. I don't feel like the with the six inning stretch here, you know, like <laughs> kind of having a little bit of a rough time grinding through these final packs. But this is where the true in test of endurance comes in. <laughs> uh huh. The real finger strength, you know. This is good for rock climbing. Rock climbing requires a lot of finger strength. Yeah. Uh huh. It's actually crazy. There's like these holds where you just have to hold your whole body like, weight with, with like one finger, one finger two Ugh. fingers. Some are right? one. Some are one. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, the, Double metal frying pan. the guys who are really good at rock climbing and girls, you know, the people who are really good at rock climbing, you know, can hold their whole body weight with just like these fingers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And just I can't even imagine just the, the tendons that you built up over all that time to get that kind of strength in your hands. I just, uh, I don't have it. <laughs> Tell you what, don't have it at all. I've never tried bouldering, oh, but I was always like, like... I've never done a Yeah, they switched the types in Dialga and Palkia. Uh, I was always bad at rock climbing in general, just because I was really bad with heights when I was young. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. like, even roller coasters and stuff terrified oh, yeah. me, so... I don't like roller coasters either. Yeah, I was, uh, I was super excited that Natalie was able to, you know, kind of hopped on board with it. Because it's like totally different than anything you've done before, too, right? No, I've never done anything like that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But is it safe it's to say fun. that you've been having fun yeah, now? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's awesome. So it's cool, you know, you get to hang out. They play like alternative music there. They play like rock music, you know what I mean? So it feels like, it kind of feels like my scene. Like it's like, you know, kind of like a, a hippie gym. It's not, it doesn't feel like, oh, <laughs> like super intimidating. You go to the gym and it's like, you know, a bunch of, you know, big guys with weight belts, like, seeing how much they can bench press. It's it's not that, you know. Right. So I definitely like the atmosphere. Everybody's definitely friendly. Everybody's low-key. Everybody's chill. They have, like, a yoga studio there, too. See, I like a good old classic gym, nice. though. I don't know. You like it? Yeah, Riley, you've been going to the gym lately, right? Uh, yeah, I go three times a week right now. Three times a week? Cool. What do you do there? Uh, I have, like, a little routine I'm doing right now. It's, like, bench pressing and you know, deadlifting and squats, stuff like that. It's a lot of different workouts, so it's kind of hard to say. But we have upper, I do upper and lower body days alternating. Nice. Dude, get swole. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> I know. It's buzzwole swole. Get buzzwole swole. See, it's easy for a short guy like me because we just put on muscle mass like it's nothing. Right. Uh, right. As long as I'm eating the... That's the hardest part for me, honestly, is keeping up with the eating. You have to eat, like, an excess of calories. Oh, you have to go eat Chipotle more often, huh? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. We're, We're in the tragedy. process of, uh, of bulking right now, huh? <laughs> well, like even, in, like, even to put on any muscle, you have to eat more than you're taking, than you're eating. Right, right, right. And it's just, it's always been hard for me. I'm just not a big eater. And so, 
I don't typically bulk very quickly. It's yeah, I think I have like the opposite problem. <laughs> is that, uh, yeah, I started like I don't lifting. Think you're alone. I, uh, I, yeah, no, <laughs> I, I definitely, I started lifting and I was like, whoa, uh, I put on like 20 pounds real quick. But it was, uh, you know, I was a lot of it like went straight to my arms and, and like my back and my shoulders and, and stuff. I'm like, definitely like my arms don't fit in my shirts the same way they used to. So <laughs> that was like, kind of exciting though. But yeah, definitely. Um, definitely my body's like not used to it. I've been a runner my whole life. So used to just that. And you were a runner too, right? Yeah, I ran in high school. Or right. College boy like you. Right. So it was like weird. It, it was like painful even, I'd say, to like start putting that pressure on my upper body that I just like wasn't used to. Right. But did you do a lot of lifting and like track and stuff? Never. Yeah. Oh, our, tra- our high school track, we did a lot of lifting. Oh, for real? Yeah, not so across. not as much for distance, but for like mid distance and sprints, they did a lot. Of oh yeah, like uh, for sprints and mid distance, we were supposed to do like a lot of like lifting and core and stuff, especially in college. But uh, I just uh, never did it. <laughs> I was being told to do it. Uh, I just did it. So like every day, conveniently, like our coach would run like uh, would run like a okay. core workout for us at the end of every like every run so at the end of every practice we'd have to like a core routine we were supposed to do and i would like conveniently run off to the bathroom and like be in the bathroom for like <laughs> the entire 30 minutes that the core routine oh was good. oh yeah like i would i would just ditch Bye. it every day i'd show up for like just, or i'd take a long time you know showering right. or I, you know I'd there's, be, there's plenty of runners who pulled that maneuver oh yeah oh yeah i gonna... I, I ditched and then i'd like show up halfway through the core routine and be like all right guys what are we doing and pretty much just sit around <laughs> doing butterflies the whole time because the butterfly stretch is definitely Definitely like my favorite stretch ever. That's yeah, hilarious. definitely sure. Hey guys, what did I miss? <laughs> yeah, hey guys, what did I miss? Oh yeah, oh you're in the middle of planks. Oh okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me uh. Let me yeah, I had like yeah. one more thing I had to. Yeah, I got to stretch before I do these planks. <laughs> yep. In, cro- in my cross country, we didn't do a lot of lifting, but we definitely we did a ton of core. We had, oh every gosh. day we did like a lot, a lot of core. Right. <laughs> Full art, Diantha. So I was saying, like, I was supposed to be doing a lot of core. I just never core. Oh my god, core is so exhausting. See, I didn't really mind the core, but when you start getting more into like the push up y type stuff, or you know, heaven forbid, burpees, like, oh my gosh, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's when I was done. Oh, right, another Palkia. Gosh, I'm gonna clean up our code stack here. How many of these codes do you think we've accidentally revealed and then threw into our code stack? I don't know. I, I, think, I think I've been pretty, pretty good. good. I think good. I've been pretty stack, though, so not great. <laughs> Oh, I'm off to the side, so I no can like I can like oh, slide yeah, the yeah. code off the end of the frame. Right. All right, I'm about to throw these codes over here. Oh yeah. All right, and then grab this deck, packs, and uh, get crack. Get crack a lacking. Get crack a lacking. All right, so I'm in the process of trying to rename the competitive channel. Right. Yes. So Darium's competitive Pokemon for all Darium's competitive Pokemon fans out there. Uh, which shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. So if you guys happen to be part of the two percent as well that watches all of our videos all the way through, then you guys are you guys are really the bomb. If you are part of the two percenters who also are fans of the competitive channel, you guys you guys are the real champs, the real MVPs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so to all the real fans out there, I'm trying to rename the competitive channel. It's uh, you know pretty clear to anybody who watches that channel. That channel is uh, mine. Yeah, it's uh, definitely, I have complete creative control of the channel, even though it's called Darium's Competitive Pokemon. It's uh, it's definitely, you know, all jokes aside, Mahone's Competitive Pokemon. But obviously, calling it Darium's Competitive Pokemon for a while was a great way to get the channel exposure, a great way to get it started. And, ooh, secret rare unit energy and a mysterious treasure and a code. There we go. So it was a, a great way to get the channel exposure, and we didn't know... How much audience the channel was gonna have, oh, or of any of that? Energy. Hey, back to back. We didn't know how much audience the competitive channel was gonna have. We didn't know if it was gonna be like a hundred thousand sub channel, or if it was gonna be just like a thirty thousand sub channel. We had no idea. But you know, Darium kind of funded it, got it off the ground, got it started. But now it's transitioned to the point where I have like rerolled, you know, much of the profits of that channel back into the channel, into my own studio my own supplies, my own cameras, my own lighting. And now that you guys see, I pretty much do everything from Darium's Competitive Pokemon is done from, you know, my personal studio, which is awesome because now I got it all under my roof. But it's getting to the point where pretty much 
you know, Darium has just said like, all right, this is your channel now. You could do what you want with it. You could have complete creative control over it. So that's what we're doing. And Darium and I obviously still get along great. I mean, obviously I still work on this channel and I'm helping Darium jumpstart some other channels like the toy channel. So I've got a lot of work on my hands, but the competitive channel is going to be rebranded as just like something to do, you know, something to my liking and not gonna have Darium's name on it anymore. But I'm trying to figure out what in the world I wanna name it. And I don't exactly know. I've run into a lot of different, uh, I don't know, I have road ends, I feel like. Roadblocks. Or roadblocks, yeah, I've kind of just, you know, thought of some names, maybe some names are associated with other things, or maybe some names are copyrighted. I really don't want to include like a copyrighted thing in the name of the channel. I've also been a little bit concerned about just calling it like Mahone's Pokemon because obviously Pokemon is copyrighted. So I can't really like put Mahone's Pokemon on a shirt. I mean, I could, but like Pokemon could come after me for that, for copyright and stuff like that. So I don't know. I just, I'm kind of in a tough spot with it. But I want, I'm like excited to get new artwork and stuff done for the channel. And I'm excited to start, you know, Double taking. Pack. Hey, sick. I'm excited to start taking that competitive channel in a different direction. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to name it. So, Cerulean City is like one of the kind of front running names right now for the channel. I really do like, I mean, I love Cerulean City. It's where Misty's from. So, like, that would, <laughs> that's like super cool. I feel like that's a move, man. And, uh, but I, I worry that maybe Cerulean's like a little hard to spell. Yeah. I don't know if that's valid. I mean, Darium's isn't a word. Darium isn't worried. I mean, people will figure it out, right? Yeah, I guess if so, people but... want to figure it out, they will figure it out. <laughs> oh, nice. what'd you get? A Rainbow Rose Arceus and a Prism Arceus. Sweet stuff. There is the Reverse Gumi. Now, if only we had two other Gumis, we have Just the Tri Gumith pack. But Cerulean City is like a a top name right now that I'm considering. Also. Uh, consider, I don't know, like Cinnabar Island is another one. <laughs> Cinnabar Island. I like yeah. Cinnabar Island. It's kind of cool because it like, it got blown up by a volcano. That's where you find Missigno too. It's where you find Missigno. It's yeah. like the rare candy trick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like there's a lot of lore, <laughs> you know, uh, associated with Cinnabar Island and I kind of like that. Blaine's not like my favorite uh, gym leader, but he's cool. He has the quizzes, man. He does have the quizzes. I like, you know, I like uh, Blaine for sure. He's definitely, definitely cool. So I could see David at Cinnabar Island. I feel like if I named it Cinnabar Island, I would probably, I would probably like name it Cinnabar like Isle or whatever, like just I S L E, and uh, not actually write out all of Island, just to make it like slightly different than what's in the Pokemon game, you know? So like I guess like slightly less likely to come under copyright issues, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I guess. And just to make it slightly different in its own thing. We, we so that know if uh, those towns are copyrighted, I mean, they're colors. I so. feel like, right, I feel like they're probably not copyrighted. But I feel like also if I differentiate it by calling the channel Cinnabar Isle, then that means that, like, anybody who wants to look up Cinnabar Isle, that will direct to my channel. Whereas if you just right. want to look up Cinnabar Island, it would, it would direct to anything having to do with actual Cinnabar Island. Right? So, That's like, it would give, like, a different type way to type it that would direct everybody to me instead of the other things that have to do with Cinnabar Island. So that's a, I don't know, and islands are cool, right? <laughs> islands are cool. Missingno was cool. The rare candy trick was cool. Isn't I'll, everything just an island if you think about it? I mean, really, yeah, aren't we all just like, you know, <laughs> different sized islands? <laughs> Isn't, you know, North America and South America combined technically an island? We're all surrounded by ocean. <laughs> wow, we're getting deep, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But considering Cinnabar Island, Cerulean City, what other names that I thought of or we thought of? I don't know. Mahone's Pokemon. What's the other one? The like simple Mahone's one. Pokemon is just a move. Uh, bad or... That was Cerulean City. Those are just my two. Those are your two? Yeah. Cerulean City. I thought about calling it uh, Trainer Red. Trainer Red. I was thinking about, yeah, I thought on Trainer Red for a little the, while. The trainer market's already occupied by some people, though. It is. Right. So Trainer Red was an idea that I had. I also considered calling it, like, uh, uh, something like, like Rival TCG or something like that. Or Rivals. Uh, I thought about calling it Hometown Rivals uh, TCG, something like that. 
Uh, I don't know, just like really just a hey, Greninja and Lysander Prism. But naming things is really hard, guys. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really hard. I see some people's channels like uh, like Lee and Hart. Shout out to Lee and Hart. That's just like his handle, you know? That's like his name. His channel is just like, that's him. He's Lee and Hart, right? And Darium's is, Darium is Darium, right? And I like that. So like the, the name associated with the person is like how you name and brand the channel, right? So I really do like that. And that's probably, that's something that I like a lot because then it's just like the association becomes with like you or whatever or with the person and not with like some foreign entity that, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. we still going. We've been oh, out here turning. Talking about things it to... It looks like you haven't gotten through any more packs. What you talking about? We've opened a lot. <laughs> we've opened quite a bit. Did you just sit here the whole time? No, time? no, no. We've been very busy. Very di In fact, yeah. right now I'm talking about uh, what, what what we should uh, name the competitive channel. Trying to, uh, trying to finagle a different name. Uh, just pick like a random thing that just doesn't make sense. A random thing that doesn't I mean, make sense. Think about some popular uh, YouTubers. Right, Lee and Hart, Pew Darium. Di no, I'm saying like PewDiePie. PewDiePie, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Um, Jack Septic Eye. <laughs> Septic Eye. Jack Septic Eye. Uh huh. Like huge It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I was considering. I don't know. I thought about, and I could name it like just Mahone's Mahone's Pokemon. Like that. That's very easy. But then also like. Uh, cause I mean, my name is like pretty, you know, pretty recognizable with like my content right now anyway. So like then it wouldn't be a foreign entity to anybody looking for my stuff if they oh, saw my Bonnie. Hey, that's our first full art yeah, Bonnie. Nice. Yeah. But anybody who was looking for my stuff wouldn't, wouldn't wonder like, oh, what is that? They would probably be like, oh, that's my own stuff like that. Would probably make sense. stuff done. Mahone stuff. <laughs> I can right. branch out to anything else you want. You're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. Just Mahone, Mahone, Mahone stuff. Mahone stuff and things. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I thought about you know, like obviously you could do like the name it after a a place in the game. You know, you could name it you could name it Cerulean City. You could name it Cinnabar Island and you know, stuff like that. But then I feel like there's not as strong of an association with like me or whatever. Then or you know, and I'm the one who produced the the content on the channel, so. I don't really know if that's the uh, that's the play, you know. And then also. But what if you ever get so big, you're like, you know what? I can just hire someone to do all the work. Exactly what's happening right now. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Right. I'm just stand here watching you guys do work for me on my channel. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, right? Oh, it is great. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know Darian can go, you know, eat a nice dinner, you know, hang out, you know, check some things well, on the internet, I mean, and I left, you know, I was out. Right. Exactly. So, that's uh, I don't know. So it's thinking. So like you're saying. You know, if I name it something that's not my name, then I have that power, to, uh, more power to delegate. Yeah, right? you can do it anyway. It's fine. You can, I mean, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. It's happening right now. Obviously, I think Darium at this point, like... Uh, right, Mahone and friends. Mahone right. and friends, yeah. <laughs> Mahone so friends. You, so if you never hire anyone, the friends could just be the Pokemon. But if you <laughs> do, then the friends can be the employees. Right. Well, guest bots. It's right. a lot of people on. Wait, wait, what do you, what's, wait, hold on, hold on. Do oh. you have a Froakie in your next card, under your full baby? Uh, no, Deep Pider. Ah, oh, uh, they yeah. were pink blue, it was pink blue. Yeah, yeah I yeah. thought they might be. We right, them. right, are we doing it? Are we finding the, uh, I feel like we're churning our, you know, I feel like we got, like, we're sitting on, like, four more boxes, five more boxes, something like that. I don't know, there goes a code. There's a code. Yeah, I'm wondering how many codes, uh. I was wondering how many codes. Yeah, I was wondering how many codes we accidentally gave away. I think Natalie and Riley are being very meticulous. If there's anyone <laughs> being a, a uh, you know, being bad, it's me. So these guys are much more aware of what they're doing and focusing on it. Yeah, we'll find out. It depends how many complaints we have. She's, like, being insane, but she's like, no, I'm just going to do it upside down. Right. Zero chance. Zero chance of giving them away. Yeah. But we know right. it's not her fault. No, definitely not her. It is no. definitely me if it happens. <laughs> yeah. I, almost I got and Bonnie in the same time. <laughs> Except she almost just did it. Right. Yeah. But she did put the code in bulk. I right. I haven't been just uh, I haven't been uh, distinguishing them because I uh, done a lot of work. that, room. Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have right. a lot of arm space over here. Right, so she hasn't been separating codes. That's Mikey's job. I'm doing, I'm doing it sometimes now. Oh, okay. Uh, we're, we're actually going to have to do it, probably, because... I'll do it. After. We need to sell the codes. I think I'm going to run out. We're going to run out of packs on this side before Riley does, so Andrew can... I can fix oh, that's fine. We've been pulling out of the same... Oh, have you? I've been pulling out of that side, not Riley's yeah. side, so I'll pull the next ones out of Riley's side. Yep. Yeah. But... 
yeah, so I don't know. I was thinking about a thinking about a name. Uh, my my artist. Uh, shout out to the the artist. Uh, what was his name? Christian. Yeah, Christian. Shout out to Christian. Christian's an awesome dude from Poland. But uh, yeah, he contacted me. He was like, "Hey, bro, you got that work that you said you were gonna have for me?" Because uh, I told him I was like, "Yeah, bro, I'm gonna have like a ton of work for you soon." Because uh, we're gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be like renaming the channel and everything. And then uh, it's taken me three weeks to try and rename the channel. <laughs> and I'm still not happy. Uh, and I'm still not happy. So it's uh, it obviously like there doesn't. You go. Still not happy. Still not happy. <laughs> done. Uh, done. Right. <laughs> Never happy. <laughs> Never satisfied. Never oh my gosh. Right. But I don't know. I feel like it's got to be something like I want. I want something that would like look cool on a shirt. You know. I don't know, is that too much to ask? Probably. <laughs> Probably. I would just pick like the top five Ooh, key phrases Rainbow Nogadale. for Pokemon. So you're like, Mahone's top ten Pokemon best <laughs> new right. ever how opening to. how to. Right. Yeah, I mean that's how, that's what gets attention now. Right. Honestly. And just make that just make it a cool acronym. Oh my gosh. And there you go. That doesn't make any sense. Right. <laughs> it, who cares? And it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. You're right. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I, I don't know. I feel like my channel, the competitive channel is never going to be like a viral sensation. You know, like it's, it's, it's a niche of a niche. It's a niche of a niche. Right. So the idea is that it has to be like recognizable and um, has to like make sense because. All right. Uh, Leonhart spelled as an H-E-A-R-T. <laughs> I know. You're right. Okay. Le I was just talking about Leonhart and I actually really like Leonhart's channel name because it's just him. Right. He's Leonhart, right? Yeah. So, like, obviously, it's like uh, the association is very strong, right? Well, he is Leonhart. He brands it Leonhart. Leonhart 411. Oh, okay. I think. I know he's got numbers after them. Okay. Because Leonhart might have already been taken. Probably. <laughs> right. And I'm sure at this point, I'm, you know, probably pretty sure that most everything has just been, been taken. There are but millions of channels. There are millions of channels, right? Tons of channels. So, I don't know. We're, we're thinking about. I thought about incorporating like, I don't know, like HM Surf or something into my name because I think like the, the HM Surf is like, it's cool, you know, Surfer, whatever, or are something. Are you trying to like do it where for new people to find you or just, do you know what I mean? Recognizable. I want it to be recognizable. I want it to stand out, you know. Hidden machine. Like something like Darium's Pokemon. I didn't care. Right. You know, it's just kind of like. Well, it's Pokemon, and hi, I'm Darian. And I'm Darian, I wasn't right. I was trying to, like, find new people by, like, searching right. the name. Right. No, and I don't think that I really necessarily care about that either, but I do want it to, uh, I don't know. I guess, I and mean, I could always just name it, you know, like, Mahone's Competitive Pokemon. Like, that's obviously, like, <laughs> like bam. that's the layup name. <laughs> but then, like, that's the thing is like it's that is people really only call it that already. You know? People it look cool on a shirt though. No, it does not. Right, <laughs> and it's not even fun to say. The thing is that if you if you ask most people when they're talking about the channel, I found usually we'll just say like, hey, you know, did you see on like Mahone's channel or did you see Mahone said this, Correct. you know, on and then sometimes they'll call it Darian's competitive for short, right? So you know, obviously Mahone's competitive uh, Pokemon is an option. I mean, you call it Mahone's competitive for short. But competitive is like an ugly word. <laughs> Correct. Right. So I don't necessarily like that. Uh, you know, you, I could call it something, you know, cheesy like Mahone's Stadium or Mahone's Coliseum or something that, like, you know, calls back to those old Pokemon games uh, where, you know, people battled and stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of battling Man, you going go on Coliseum, that channel. Everyone's going to think the BGC, though. Right. Exactly. So that's why I can't really do anything that has to do I mean, with. I want to play that now. I'm not going to lie. Right. Wasn't those <laughs> games fun, though? Like. They were amazing. Dude. They were so. Uh, I could do something like I could name it after like an old Pokemon setter. I could call it like the Aquapolis or something like that. Um, Rising Rivals. Rising Rivals. People have a hard time uh, typing that into search it then. What are some? I don't know. What are some cool like old sets that could like double as? But isn't that that stuff's definitely all copyrighted? Neo Discovery. Uh, I mean, I've got the word Pokemon in my name. You do have the word Pokemon in your name. It's yeah. for sure copyrighted. Right. Oh yeah. Like definitely. Double toxic croak. I feel like I'm a little dry on my hits here. So that's the thing is like, you know, we said that, or Pokemon has said that they don't really care what you do as long as you don't have, you know, a million subs. If you don't have a million subs, they're not really going to come after you for using their name. Yeah, if we uh, ever hit a million, we're in an awkward spot. We are in an awkward spot because they're going to be like, hey, 
You guys have made a million subs. I don't subs. know that a million is the number. Uh, they told us. That's what they said. Oh, they, they, told, they told, told you that. On the huh. phone. They're like... a million, they're going to start caring. Right. <laughs> yep. I'm not even joking. That's, that's really funny. That's where they drew the line. That's where they drew the line. <laughs> They're like, hey guys, is this okay? Yeah, well, no. Well, even when it comes to us selling shirts with Pokemon likenesses on it, they literally said, we're not allowed to tell you to do it, but we're going to start paying attention at a million. Right. Okay. Oh, all <laughs> right. Alrighty. So you're Sorry, saying... Sorry, I'm I guess you're screwed. Right. So you're saying I got a while until you start to care. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's fine by us. Or, you know, potentially infinite amount of time if we never hit a million, or if Amazon takes over the world by then. Yeah. So. Exactly. <laughs> but it also doesn't mean that's just going to be a rule that's always going to stay. No. At any given time, an upper could be like, you know what? Nah. Oh, that's the, that's the scary thing. That's what I want to avoid entirely, is that, you know, I don't want... I don't want Pokemon to one day decide, like, hey, you know what? You know, Mahone's selling those Misty Playmats in his store. He also is using a copyrighted thing in his name. And, you know, and I, and I don't like the guy, so I'm going <laughs> to Well, the important... Oh, I got to oh. The important part when it comes to trademark, copyright, infringement, whatever on that one... Yeah. The gray area where... No, it's not even gray. It's pretty black and white. Um, <laughs> if you ever register an LLC, a business... Yeah. You can do not ever put that in the name anywhere. Right, you can't. Right. You, you, it's got to be like, it's Mahone's... Uh, Emporium. Don't collectibles. Matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that. Right. That's Mahone's, the important part. Right, Mahone's TCG or whatever. So, like, that's a, just like, what? Oh, another Lucario. So, like, what is the channel name, though? I mean, I don't know. I feel like at a certain point... It's Do you have a mascot? A mascot? I mean, like, For yeah. A channel? Like a kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like Sneasel. Yeah. Sneasel's kind of a mascot right now. But I that's don't like... Know a, how you could work that in. That's a Pokemon, though. Right? So, like... No, I'm, I mean, you're fine still, like, using the name, but... Right. Calling it, like... I don't know if something cool I could be, like, Sneasel. Because it'd be, the, like, Mahone Sneasel. The, sne the Sneasel, <laughs> like the it's sneasel the Squad. It's kind of like the, squad. the Squirtle Squad, but it's the Sneasel Squad. Sounds more devious. I wanted to, uh... <laughs> I want to do some artwork. Hey, we got an Ultra Necrozma. Sick. So. Another Floor Bonnie. Awesome. Nice. Riley is the only one today who's opened Floor Bonnies. Also, Riley got a Rainbow Rare Ultra Necrozma while you were gone. Woo. Dare him. That's that was hot. that is hot. I got the Beast Ring while. Oh, Natalie also got Wait, the Secret Rare Beast Ring. Beast ring? Yes. Man, and it looks, we have hit it looks pretty top. good. Yes. We've nice. we've hit all the hitters. How all. is that not the most expensive card? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. People are sleeping on it. Mysterious Treasure is like confirmed. Good. I I don't know. People are Mysterious more hyped. People are more hyped for uh, the Necrozma deck, I think, than they are about like Buzzwall right now. Well, we've seen Buzzwall for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess that's the reasoning. But I don't know. I wanted to create some sort of like artwork. This was like a, uh, like I don't know, like a playmat idea or a banner idea I had, or it's like I want it to be like. You know, just like the Squirtle Squad, right? How they were like kind of like a cool, devious little bandit group of Squirtles, right? <laughs> Anybody got sleeves? But I wanted it to be with I'm somebody's. There's two packs hiding back there behind the left. Oh, the yeah. Of bulk. Here we go. Give like me some. Yep, re up. All right. So, what I wanted to do, yeah, was make some sort of like, you know, devious band of Sneasels um, and have them be like all skaters, right? So they all like ride, they all ride like a skateboards and they're like, you know, kind of devious uh, little skater crew of, like, Sneasels, and they, like, I don't know, they, like, graffiti and stuff. And total hoodlums. Total, <laughs> total hoodlums, right. Uh, but they're Sneasels, because that's, I mean, Sneasels are supposed to be mischievous, mischievous anyway. All right, so we have a Naganadal. That is awesome. Naganadal. Right. So I wanted to do that, and, like, that's kind of cool. We could call it, uh, I don't know, the... What would you call it, though? Uh, I don't know, Band of Sneasels. Band of the sneeze, 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 gaggle sneezel. Uh, sneezel band. Gaggle. Uh, uh -huh, the sneeze, gaggle sneezel. Uh -huh, sne the sneezel uh, squad, I guess, right? Is what it would be called. They're the sneezel squad. Kind of like referencing the squirtle squad, but they're the sneezel squad. Or they're the uh, uh, sneezel crew. Or they're oh, the. Diantha. Hey, full art Dianthia. Sneezel doesn't really rhyme with much. That's cool. No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. What are Pokemon that rhyme with, like, crew or squad? Um, or, or, uh, the Skitty crew. The sk <laughs> or, uh, or the, like the, the squad. Skitty squad. <laughs> the Wimpod <laughs> squad. Uh, <laughs> Wimpod squad. Oh, my gosh. That sounds too much like Bulu Gang. Nelly oh, my gosh. People. 
People love Bulu. They call themselves Bulu Gang. What is? I think it was a meme at first, and I then it turned into reality. It turned into like something that they were actually serious about. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. Just Bulu players. It's kind of like Greninja players are all just like very into their Greninjas. Right. And like they have like an identity and a culture. They all have like a whole <laughs> a whole subculture. Gardevoir players too. Oh, Gardevoir players. Gardevoir, yeah. Definitely have a subculture. A subculture? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do, Greninja, though. Greninja is the biggest subculture. Greninja is definitely All those the decks subculture. have, like, group chats. And right. I know, right? They, like, openly refer to themselves. Yeah. Oh, the Church of Gardevoir? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. yeah, the Church of Gardevoir, Blue Gangs. Right. No, they, uh, they definitely have their own their own cultures there. Ooh, right. We are in the final stretch. I feel like we're, we're rocking, like, something like three boxes remaining, something like that. Cool. Doing pretty good. Shout out to Riley and Natalie. Thank you guys for helping okay. champ this out. Definitely been a better experience this time than the last couple times I did it. Last time oh, regular Xerneas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's the thing. You get to the point where you're like, oh, Palkia. Oh, Xerneas. Oh, you No. Our seventh, 17th Beast Energy. Is right. Oh, my gosh. So many Beast Energies. This is like wild amount of Beast Energies. Yeah. That okay. is insane. Volcano Prism. So seriously, squad, crew, I don't know. Crew is cool. So crew is cool. The crew. crew. I like the crew. The, uh, the, uh, the, um, the Skidoo crew. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. The, um, the Skidoo crew. The Mew crew. The Mew crew. The. I feel like crew. it has to be like a two-syllable thing. Right. Not Mew. You're no. right. Oh, it can't be Mew crew because that's like too close to Mew too. And, uh, hmm. I don't know. Probably not rhyming. Probably alliterated would be cool. Or even like. What are cool Pokemon that start with C? C. Or K. Cacturn crew. Cacturn crew. The, <laughs> the Kakuna crew. <laughs> uh huh. The Kakuna. The Kakuna. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Welcome to the Kakruna. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, like the Squirtle Squad is so perfect that there's like almost no beating it. Kakruna <laughs> Matata. Uh-huh. Oh, middle oh, frying pan. Hey, we got our is that like the final secret rare, I feel like? I think. Yeah, I don't know. Have you guys Have we really not got one yet? No, I feel like that's yeah, we haven't gotten the metal frying pan yet. That was the last one, so. But we have opened them all. Like, and we haven't really doubled up on anything but unit energy, I think. Like, we've got double unit energy. Not sure of the other hitters, though. So, I mean, we definitely are doing pretty good on this opening, I feel like, though. I mean, the Ultra Necrozmas, and if we had as many Ultra Necrozmas as we had, like, Yveltals, you know, or Greninjas, we'd be swimming in it. But I feel, still I feel, feel like, like Greninja's still anything? a decent card, though. And I feel like our highest... Oh, Greninja's definitely still a decent card. I feel like our highest Prism hit has got to be Beast Energy. I feel like we just know, have... I've seen a lot of Volk Prism in our Oh Prism. my gosh, there are a lot of Volk Prism too. For sure. Definitely, definitely. The, the crew. Hmm. Uh, Kakruna definitely gets my vote. The Kakruna. Kakruna Matata, man. <laughs> it can, it can uh, I, like, I did like the, rock, the, the Rocket's Hideout. That's fine. It's another fine name. It's it's fine though, you know. It's not like the it name. I don't Ultra think. Necrozma. It's fine. Ultra Necrozma. I like Dark Side Out actually. I think it's well. a fine name. Yeah, cool. yeah, I think it's cool. I love Team Rocket Pokemon. I think it fits with the aesthetic that I like want. Um, of being a criminal. <laughs> of being a criminal. <laughs> yeah. No, like this. You know. Blasting off again. Uh, this the whole <laughs> like the the whole skater thing, you know. Does it, can anybody confirm if they still say blasting off? I have they, no do. Idea. they do. They okay. do. They they like vary it up every episode. Years of blasting off. Yeah. They vary it up every episode now though. Do they? They'll say like I haven't seen the show since probably. So they uh, won't say blasting off every time. You know, they'll say something right. like, randomly intermixed. But they do say it sometimes. They do. That, yeah. that pleases me. Yeah. Um, I have probably haven't seen the show since like. 2010, I, think. I haven't watched a lot of the Sun and Moon anime. I watched all of the XY anime. It was actually really, really? fun and good. I've heard it's been good. I just, you know, I'm, I can't, I don't know. I, I spent, you know, my entire childhood watching with the old voice actors, and now I just can't get Right, yeah. Right. Once Veronica Taylor left, the right. game definitely changed a little bit there. I have an autograph from Veronica Taylor. Dude, I might be going to a, uh, well, going to a con with Veronica Taylor. Oh, yeah, I have an autograph from her. I should, yeah, uh, Natalie, you're going too, I, I think. I should get a double sign. Yeah, yes, we're both going. 
Yeah, so Crasher Week. So we're going to this con in, uh, where is it? Louisiana. Louisiana. Right, so it's in Louisiana. Zygarde. It's in Louisiana. Going to this Ooh. con thing. Hey, there's some Forbidden Light Packs. Going to this con in Louisiana. And yeah, so that's awesome. Got booked to do that. And I think they're in the process of trying to book Veronica Taylor as well, which would be super sweet. I've never met her, so that's that really would be. Cool. Yeah, yeah, seems cool. I know I've seen her on some of like Lee and Hart's videos. I know Lee and Hart's like met out with her to do a do a little tag team video at least a couple times. So that would be fun and exciting. But I'm looking forward to that. So if there are any Dariums fans who are out here right now, who are in the Louisiana area, we're going to be doing that in September. I think oh, it's yeah. called PokeCon 2018. So cool stuff. Definitely stoked about that. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe Rocket's Hideout. Maybe that's the end name. Maybe we'll try it. Or it could be Mahone's Rocket's Hideout. It's <laughs> too long, I think. Yeah, it's it's too also long. Mahone's and, and too, Rocket's. It's too plain. Yeah, who, who's possessing it? All right, is it Mahone's or is it Rocket's? Yeah, you call it Mahone's Hideout. No, that's just like, why Why am I hiding? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to hide from? Am I a criminal? <laughs> no, I'm not a criminal. Rockets are. That's fine. Um, you can glass. call it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. We're going to we're gonna think for a little while on that still. But I'm trying to get my art together and, like, done for that channel, like, now. I would love to get that all said and done and squared away. So that's something I'm looking at. Now, I know there is a card shop somewhere called the Rockets Hideout. So, there... yeah, it's just a card. It's a card shop, though. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, it's one. It's not like a chain. It's Where like, is it? I don't know. Somewhere in, like, Texas, I think. Oh, I've never, it's like, I was say, it's not around here. Right? No, it's not around here. I just Googled Rockets Hideout because I was curious. But And then it is a card name. Uh, there's a, a card named Rockets Hideout. Now, there's two. Are there two cards named Rockets Hideout? Yes. What do they do? Um, I don't know what the original. What's the original one do? You know what that does? It's a Neo, a Neo card, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's a rocket. rocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it from Team Rocket? It's from Team Rocket for real. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. makes sense, but like, I just didn't realize it's that old. It is. Um, yeah, all the Rocket support was in that one set. Right. I have a, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Rocket tied out in a new, the newer set. And like, I like the, the EX, EX Rocket. EX, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. sure there's one. It just doesn't one. do the same thing. Oh, really? Or it does, and it's just the wording is too different. I'm not sure. I don't think it does the same thing. Though. Right. Yeah, so I would like that. I mean, I obviously, like, Rockets is probably one of my favorite sets ever printed. I, you know, definitely, I mean, one of my favorite cards ever printed is Rocket Zapdos. I just always thought that the, the whole Rocket thing was cool, and that I think you could probably make a lot of, like, cool-looking artwork out of that as well that kind of references references that. So I black and red oh, are really man, powerful man. colors. I really like black and red as a color scheme as well, so... I think black, red, and white. Ultra That's kind of like, hey, oh, another yeah. Ultra Necrozma. Awesome. So, oh my gosh, another Rainbow Rare. Yveltal. Yveltal. Sick, sick, sick. Dude, these cards looking fresh. They are. Looking minty fresh. After Definitely. Ultra Prism, it's a nice change of pace. Oh my gosh, the Ultra Prism cards were not centered. They were not uh, printed well. They're rough. Definitely rough. But... I think it was like the white stripes or something, you know, asked why, like, uh, I remember reading an interview or something like, why do they use like, uh, why are they, why do they use red, white, and black as like their colors? Uh -huh. And they just said like, they're just extremely powerful colors. It's like why a lot of like, you know, it's a lot of like, uh, uh, propaganda, like, red. uh, art and stuff, uh, red, black and white. And it's like a lot of that stuff is done in red, black and white. A lot of obey artwork have you yeah. ever seen like shepherd fairies work and stuff like that a lot of it's red red black and white is very you know, bold very bold very commanding color com combination so i like that and i definitely would like being able to tap into those colors for my channel artwork oh yeah rainbow rare greninja gx that is awesome Sick thing i think this is our first rainbow rare greninja if i'm not mistaken so that is awesome all right Coming down the tail stretch here. Let's get these final, what, two boxes, probably. Two boxes cracked. And then we are done with our 1,000 packs. And we will just organize these real quick when we are finished. Sick. Lysander Zygarde, double, double hitter. We're going to organize these when we're done. Show you guys all the hits that we've got out of these 1,000 packs. And then be off with our weekend. Get this thing rocking and rolling. By the way, if you guys have not had a chance to check out yet 
the limited edition signed Darium's mat today should be like the last day of the sale. Like this weekend is the last weekend of the sale. So the sale will be ending either today or Sunday. And then that's it. Then we're going to cut off all sales, get the mats ordered, signed, and that is all. So this is your last chance to get that limited edition signed Darium's mat. Bye, everybody in the Darius crew. Obviously, you can't see the mat right now because it's completely covered in cards from Forbidden Light, which is awesome. <laughs> it's a super, super dope. What you got going on over there, Riley? It looks like you got quite, over here, yeah. quite the mound. I do, yeah. <laughs> Mine too. My cards are going different directions. I'll fix that after we're done. We're going to fix that uh, later, right? <laughs> Not now. For now, we out here grinding. I don't have a lot of room over here. No. Making do with what we got. Do the three openings. So the three openers though, is is clutch for right, sure. Get, this get it. You got, got it? it. Oh, got it. Success. Dude, the frou frou was so nuts. <laughs> and for release? Shout out the frou frou. Yeah. And the yeah, my pre-release frou frou is pretty good. Drew me like four cards total or something. But that's, yeah. that's all you need in a pre-release. Oh, really. a pre-release, drawing four cards total. I mean. Hey, B string and Yveltal in the same pack. Sick. Yeah, drawing any cards at all in pre release <laughs> yeah, really? format is uh, really good. Yep, so I don't know why I just sleeved that B string. Might be because I'm starting to lose it, guys. All right, here we go. Yveltal GX. There we go. We need more, more, more. Sick. Definitely on the home stretch here. Yep. So I don't know. I mean, you think Team, Ro Team Rocket is probably. Probably, uh, it was probably like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing with the, the counter, the copyright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably That's copyrighted. Funny. I don't know, but Rocket is not copyrighted. You can't copyright just Rocket. I mean, it's Rocket's Hideout. It doesn't say Team Rocket's Hideout. We just call it Rocket's Hideout. All right? Or we call it Team Rocket's Hideout. Rocket's Hideout. No, the Rock Hideout. Rocket's Hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, maybe I could put like a, a the before it and make it totally different. The Rocket's hat out. And then, uh... I doubt they've uh, copyrighted the Rocket's hat out. No, they probably not. It. Probably not. It's just a card name. So it probably doesn't have a copyright. Which would be pretty dope, right? So, maybe Mahone from the Rocket's hat out. What's up? Andrew Mahone here from the Rocket's hat out. I think it's from, or to say, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone from Rocket's hat out. Or from yeah. the Rocket's hat out. I What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone from Rocket Tide Out. Full Art Greninja. Very fun. Alrighty then. Full Art Greninja. Sick. Man, my nose is starting to get stuffy. My arm's starting to hurt. <laughs> my hand's starting to hurt. My, my hand's starting to hurt. My, uh, my back's starting to hurt. I'm starting I'm to... On my, feet. They're my teeth are starting to hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. It's it's a pain. Right now, I don't know. I went to like the dentist. I got some cavities filled. And it's just like my teeth have just been hurting ever Damn. since. And I don't feel like they should be hurting. No. Not for more than like a day. Uh, it's been about a week and a half, my guys. <laughs> yeah, so... Or Dantha. Dialga. GX. We could call it Mahone GX. <laughs> Look at that Mahone boy. Prism Star. Mahone Prism Star. <laughs> Beauty. Beautiful. Mahone Prism Star. Mahone GX. <laughs> Mahone EX. EX, yeah, Double throwback. Eight. Lowercase EX. Mahone EX, right. <laughs> Shining Mahone. Mah Shining Mahone. Mahomey EX. <laughs> right. <laughs> Misty's. <laughs> Something. Natalie, if you had a channel, it'd be so easy. Why? And you just call it Natalie Chambay. No, I'd call it Natakazam, just like my Twitter handle. Natakazam. Really handle I've ever used. Right. Oh, that's know. easy. It See, you could use your uh, Twitter handle. I can't. Uh, mine is Enjoy Friend. That is like, uh, I mean, it's got a, a brand name in it. <laughs> yeah, but it's one word. But it's it's one word though, so right? It's so it's technically not. It's actually not because it's a different word. It just has that word in it. Nobody has copyright to Enjoy Friend. <laughs> you could be I, Embor friend. I could call it Embor friend. I've considered it calling it Embor friend. I've considered calling it Enjoy friend. I don't know. Do we just do we just call it Enjoy friend? Could you I call could, it Enjoy? I could do that. I mean, a lot of people know your handle. Right. I feel like you don't want to deviate too much from something that's like recognizable. Um, right, you know. but is like my Twitter handle recognizable? I think enough people know. I don't know. Maybe not, but. Um, it could become more recognizable. Yeah. That would be sick, right? 
I'd be careful barking up a tree. That's a, that is definitely a brand, though, you know? It is definitely a brand, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's all one joy word. Is a different way, you know, to be unique. You're not, you don't know anything about skateboarding. I don't know anything about skateboarding. <laughs> Except you make sure to tell us that you do, like, all the time. All the time, <laughs> right. not anything about it, though. All right, are we actually out of packs? Yeah. Uh, my side is. And I'm out of packs. Right. Naganado! Right, just a Let me couple up these cards. right here. Oh, four packs. Okay. Oh, yep. Let's uh, let's get these last packs going. We got like six packs remaining, y'all. And then we are going to go over everything that we've opened so far. Thank you all so much to everybody who has been hanging out with us, chilling, talking about all sorts of weird different kinds of stuff. We talked about climbing. We talked about working out. We talked about Pokemon. We talked about... Uh, what's the name? Kukuna. The channel. We talked about Krakuna. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kakuna. Yeah. Uh, we talked about giving codes oh, away. Dialga. We talked about naming the channel Mahone's stuff. <laughs> Mahone's things. All right. Last one. Final pack. What Pokemon has a copyrighted and has an Hey, Arceus Prism. All right. So let's get this stuff, this hot mess sorted out, and we're going to show you all what we got. All right. To round things up, we have got three... Six, nine, twelve, fifteen copies of Lysander Prism. We've also got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen copies of Beast Energy. We've also got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen copies of Diancy. Wow, that is like very regular on those so <laughs> far. So we got like 17, 15, and 15. And then we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17 copies of Arce Arceus, Arceus, Prism Star. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 copies of Volcanion Prism. Is that it for all of our Prism cards? That's looking like it for all our prism cards. So wow, those were actually extremely similar in their counts. Like between 15 and 16 of all the prism star cards, 15 and 17 of all the prism star cards. So very regular on those even hits. We opened what like 20? How many boxes do we open? 27 and points or 27.7. 27.7. So out of 27.7 boxes, we got about 15. So we're saying like that means that we got about one every other box on average, right? Something like that? Yes. One of each every other box, right? So something like that. So interesting stuff. So it's, it's kind of hard to depend on pulling a specific Prism card out of a certain box, but we were definitely getting a good number of Prism Star cards per box. See, we've got, uh, let's see, how many full art Dialgas? One, two, three, four. Four full art Dialgas. We've got ourselves two Rainbow Rare Dialgas, and three, six, nine, um, eleven regular art Dialgas. So that's it for the Dialgas there. As far as the Zygards go, we've got ourselves just one copy of the Rainbow Rare Zygarde. That thing looks amazing. I love like the kind of red streak going through there on his little cape thing. One, two full art Zygards, and then three, six, seven regular art Zygarde. GX. Moving right along, we will look at the Greninjas. Looks like we got a ton of Greninjas here. We pulled, let's see, we did not separate out the, oh, we did. Yeah. We've got one, two, three, four, five full art Greninjas, one rainbow rare, and three, six, nine, eleven copies of the regular art Greninja. So plenty there. See how many Necrozmas we got. We got three, six, nine, ten regular art Necrozmas, two beautiful full art Necrozmas, and one copy of the Rainbow Rare Ultra Necrozma. So pretty similar in their hits for sure. I feel like we've got a lot of like very even stacks here. I'd be interested to see how the rest of these pan out. As far as Naganadel goes, let's separate these guys out real quick. Naganadel. Naganadel. Naganadal. All right, there's two Rainbow Rare Naganadals. We've got two full arts and then a three full arts and a ton of regulars. We've got three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen regular arts. Xerneas, we've got four, uh, seven, ten 
regular arts, one rainbow rare, and three full arts. Awesome, awesome. So I think, is that like our most of the Naganadal so far? I feel like that might be our most hit card so far. I definitely got a ton of those, but still pretty even keel, except for Lucario. There is no regular art Lucario, but we did get the three full art Lucarios and one rainbow rare, which is very similar to the other pulls that we got as far as full arts and rainbow rares go. And then with Yalvatal, Yveltal GX, we got three, six, nine, uh, 10, 11. We'd felt like we were opening those forever, but then we really stalled out. We've got one, uh, the full art, and three rainbow rare Yveltal GXs. So that's like, I think, our highest of the rainbow rare GX cards there. As far as our full art supporters go, we got three Ultra Recon Squad, two Crasher Wake, a ton of Dianthas. We got three, six, seven full art Dianthas, which is like the coolest one in my opinion. So I think that that was like some nice rips there. And only two full art body. To close things out, we've got one of the Secret Rare Beast Rings. We got one Secret Rare Mysterious Treasure, one Secret Rare Energy Recycler, one Metal Frying Pan, and three Secret Rare Yuta Energy. Now, is there a separate, like a second Yuta Energy in this set? Or is no, this... There's, is There's two more Yuta Energy and they're both in the last set. Okay, so like this is all the Secret Rares then. I think this is all the secret rares. So. Quote, you know, don't quote me on that, but I think that we got one of every secret rare. Obviously, it would have been sweet if we got like three mysterious treasure or three beast rings, but this is still pretty beast mode there. We also got a ton of beast rings, which I'm not going to count out because we probably missed some, to be honest, and a ton of mysterious treasures. So... That's it for the thousand pack opening. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out the limited edition Darium's playback in the description below. It's on Darium's.com. Make sure to check out Darium's competitive Pokemon if you want to see me play Pokemon cards every single day. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, share it with all your friends. Peace.